Because how is that much better? And take that long, slow, deep breath again. And release it slowly. Where's Jesus taking you? He's showing me from up top. Is that everything that's happened? He's showing you from up top? Yeah, in the sky. Alrighty, and what are you looking down on? Just the city and the, almost like a... Like... You could say a... Like a fast forward or like a like a like a flashback going forward of everything happening. And so, what do you see happening, sir? A lot of change. Very good. Now, what's the biggest change that you see that happens? A lot of people knowing just about themselves and people, about what to do. People are finding out about themselves and what are they finding out about themselves? That they're more than they think. Ah, oh, very good. And how does he, how does what he's showing you depict that? People are smiling. It's, everything is Everybody's nice to each other. Everybody seems happy. And so you're looking down on a city or just that? Yes, a city. And what about, can you see the roads of the city? Yeah. What do they look like? Are they still concrete or whatever? Or have they changed in any way? They look more organized, more like, I don't know what you would say, cleaner, more... Understood. And ask Jesus, what time frame is it, is this as he's showing you? What, when is this that, what is, you know, what is the time frame that he's showing you from our linear ex ex perspective? Century or... Or year? What year is it? What year is it that you're looking at? Uh, now you say he has something to show you and he's brought you there. Is he still there? Yes. And is he talking to you at all? You can hear him. You can hear him clear as a bell, clear as day. He's, he's there. But he's just showing me. So can you see you in that future? Is this the future? I think so. You, I know you, you say you think so, but is it your, it, do you see you in that future? Ask him, can he show you you in that future? Yeah, that's me. You can see yourself now? And yeah. what do you look like? It's older, just the in, same. In the same body? Yeah. So there you are as you, with Jesus, looking at yourself. How does that feel? Pretty crazy. Ah, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So ask Jesus, is this the earth? Yes. And ask him, what year is it at the, on the earth? Please. Ask him maybe if he can just... 2021? Uh, 2021. 
Very good. And as you looked at looking at all those changes, are there any extraterrestrials in that mix there? As in a different form of human? Oh, well, I mean, not. they say there's a bunch of extraterrestrials that look exactly like us. Uh, ask, ask and point blank, are there any extraterrestrials here in this time frame? They're there, but they're not... They're not, like... They blend in with the crowd, you know? Ah, oh, very good. So is this what he's told you? Yeah. And ask him, does do, do every does everyone know? Is it an every is it does, is it just normal that everyone knows there are extraterrestrials on the planet? Yeah. Uh, um, I don't think they really have a problem with it. I'm I believe they're just okay with it. Very good. Now I want you to look up in the sky of this place and uh, um, are there anything, what's flying? Anything flying in the air? See, do you see people being transported in any type of flying? I see like different kind of maybe like some kind of delivery type machines and um okay and go ahead what to the best of your ability could you describe it's kind of is it flying like a plane is it hovering is it like a it's like a hovering kind of machine and it like like almost like a box shaped and it has uh, you know, like packages like to deliver and stuff and it hovers over the place it goes to and it delivers it by itself. Oh, okay. It's automated, huh? Yeah. Oh, very good. And what else do you see that's really ultra modern there considering you're in 2021? Um... They have hmm. what's that? Like I don't know, like I just see people like on the roofs and stuff. I guess it's like party or something for them and stuff. Oh, know. okay. So people are partying, having a wonderful time. Yeah. And I want you to turn to Jesus and ask him point blank, why is he showing you this, please? And you tell me whatever your impression is. Or to know that there's something better coming. Oh, very good. Very good. And ask him, is Hank still there on the planet? I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm getting an answer or not. Or if it, Is he showing you something? I don't know. What do you, what, what's going on? Like, I'm not sure if the information's coming correctly. Because what did he say, I'm dead? No, not real, not exactly. Did he say anything at all? I think he said you're helping in a different way. I'm helping in a different way? Yeah. So I am there or I'm not there? I'm not sure what he's trying to say. What? Can you ask him to... to... just say it? Ask him, will he please speak to you verbally? It's so much easier for you. I know he understands that. 
if he doesn't, it's understood, but you know, we have to try. Okay, how about this? Ask him, can he take you to where Hank is? And so he could show you what I'm doing. And you can just look at me and tell me what I'm doing. Okay. Very good. I think you're you in other countries, I think. Oh, very good. Are you and I around each other? Or obviously if I'm in another country, am I speaking to people or I think you're speaking to people, yes. Okay. So when you say another country, so did he show you where I was? He said... Oh, very good. What did he say? I think... I don't know. Was it Sweden? I think. Okay, understood. You say Sweden? I think so. So even after all these years in 2021, do I establish something in Sweden? Yes, it's more like a, like, you know, people getting to know the same thing we are and things like that. Oh, very good. And uh, ask them, okay, so, very good. Ask Jesus what else would he like to show you while he's there before you ask the next for someone else comes up through that light. Anything else he would like to show you, please. Even though what he's shown you is amazing, amazing, amazing. He have any other messages for you, or does he does he have a desire to show you more? Um, what is he doing? Is he smiling? Is he... He's just kind of standing there. Very he's kind of thinking, I think. Oh, okay. And he's trying to think. Ask him to see this. Is that the same Jesus that came with you the first time in the other session? <sighs> I think it's like a... Maybe like an, uh, like an image of him, like you know. Oh, very good. Something him, but a represent exactly a representation of him. Um, ask him: Is is he a personif personification of Christ consciousness? Or a manifestation of Christ consciousness. I mean, you said he's an image of Christ, and he yeah. looks like Christ, and he's giving that message of love and hope, and yes. what's coming. And that's going to be a beautiful. Yes. Tell, ask him. Uh, ask him. Say the the word is uh, is that he's an Arcturian. And uh, ask him, is that true, before we ask for someone else to come out? Is he Octurian? Yes. He says he is. 
and he realizes that's a, a, an extraterrestrial from Earth standards. Yes. And he's okay. And just ask him, could you ask him one personal question? Yeah. Ask him, uh, did he die on the cross? Or did someone martyr themselves and die on the cross? I say cross, but what, maybe it was a tree or something that they hung them or nailed them to? Or the Christ figure? Could he share I anything? think he said his followers were his, the ones that took his place. Oh, very good. Tell him we are very, very grateful. And ask him, who is he to you? Because he comes up first all the time when we do these sessions. Who is he to you? How are you guys related? Do you have an Arcturian background? It could be family, I believe, or something like that. Is that what he's saying? I mean, I know I'm kind of part of that. Very good. And what impression are you getting from him? He's trying to welcome me. And trying to give me information. Oh, so every time you come and he comes forward and ask him what other information does he have for you right now on your path, whatever information that you're absolutely ready for and ready to share with the people who are here this, the masses. Well, I'm here to help and spread the word. Very good. I'm here to represent what he sent us to do for. And ask him, could he be specific? Just for the people who are listening, why were you sent? To wake up. The rest were, were still sleeping. And not conscious of what's going on in the world. And, and ask him, say, Hank uh, always says and that we are going through a photon belt or a cosmic cloud uh, that's coming out of the center of the galaxy. Is this true? Are we, pa is the earth passing through it? Yes. He says yes. And by the time we finish our path through this uh, cloud, will the earth be totally changed at that point? Definitely. And ask him, is the earth expanding and getting bigger? Yes. And ask him, in the month of September, everyone's saying that something big and wonderful and dramatic and scary and terrible all in one is going to happen. Can he give us anything whatsoever on <sighs> what should what will be happening about that time on the planet in September of 2015, in particular on the Day of Atonement? Um, He said, it's, I just asked first, is September significant? The month of September, in terms of probabilities of something amazing happening. It is pretty, a big day, a big month for, for something to happen. And can he elaborate for you or for, and for everyone who's listening in any way about what what is going to happen in that month? Or the significance of that month? A lot of the, uh, the old, the more powerful 
and control people will begin to show their faces and and they'll be kind of taken away from from all the um, you could say the bad done and, you know so will they be will the vibrations be so high that they can't take it yes I believe so and will they you say when taken away will they end up either passing in terms of, you know their physical bodies can't handle the high vibration anymore I or think it's Yes, that, but, I mean, you know, truth and, and just things coming out, just everything that. Oh, okay, so they won't be, be able to hide at all. Yes. And it's, it's coming pretty quick and. Beautiful. A lot of, a lot of people are kind of surprised about it, but, um. And that's in the we're moving on. that's in the September. You say we're moving on, right? Yeah, we're 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 continuing with you know building on on what we found out and and so what about the uh, people who are aware of this shift who have been working at it for years and the new and the I would say the people who are new to the earth to come help with this process. Will they change in any way? Will they come to full consciousness? They're getting to the point to where they're very, very positive, very open-minded, and they're sharing the information that they've gathered with everyone else who is also waking up. and. And they're learning the information and trying to learn from it, and uh, and just you know, will people be more accepting? They'll be at first confused, but they will begin to accept it, and they won't keep living and and uh, Fear. and they'll they'll just accept it. You can you will say just. They'll feel comfortable and they'll live a better life. And will the vibration in September be high enough for any extraterrestrials to be able to, or extra dimensionals to make themselves known? They'll definitely know us and they'll be watching us. But they're already, they already know and are watching us now, aren't they? Yes. And will there be any significant uh, encounters or connection come I September? Think they're making contact in a, in a way to where they're making not too much uh, of themselves known, but little by little letting people know that they're there and that they're helping us and as, as awakening to their minds, they will learn and they'll accept them as well. Ah, oh, very good. And will, um, will you have any interaction, physical interaction, or will you or Hank have any physical uh, interaction with them? Do they foresee uh, in this year? I believe we will have a good fortune into in a positive way just having a um, a better effect in our lives and just giving us kind of like a push to to continue and to to make better of what we are now oh, very good and what about full consciousness do they foresee that for any of any of 
any of us at all. I believe there's going to be a good few who will be able to do that. That will come to full consciousness? Yes, but... And, yes. Go ahead. Just, um... Until, uh, as long as we finish what we're here to do, which is get everybody else woken up to the point where they can begin to go towards the path of gaining full consciousness as well. Oh, very nice. And so, um, well, I guess point blank, will you come into full consciousness in the year of 2015, or will it take you longer? I think I still have to stay and help out more. And what about Hank? Will he come into full consciousness in 2015, or he still has a way to go as well? I think it's very close, but there's not an exact t time, I would say. Oh, very good. It's, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> very I don't good. know how to put it, but it's 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 coming, I guess you could say. Not too far, but it's it's almost here, I guess. Very, very good. As uh, now Susan Spooner did a uh session of uh the art of universal knowing and her dad said that Gaia recently within I guess the past couple of days said that her that Gaia the planet earth her uh, spirit self has ascended uh, into the higher vibration is this is this accurate yeah and so are we the physical planet is it um, soon behind it as well. That's it. You say the light body of the planet Gaia has ascended, according to Susan Spooner, and so is the physical body of Gaia or the planet Earth um, soon to follow. Yes, it's 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 growing. It's it's becoming more you would say lighter lighter it's just a better place to be in ah very good and do they foresee does Jesus foresee uh, we're always interested to know we know that well I'll just say it. do they does he foresee um, them ending the GMO companies and the poisoning of the water and the food are they gonna are we gonna the collectively stop that anytime soon people people will realize that more and more stay and I apologize can you repeat that sentence they will notice it more and more every day everyday people yes and it will soon come to a big picture and people will want to stop it because they know it's not the right thing to do. Ah, oh, very good. And can, they, can he possibly foresee that in the year 2015? Or, you know, because it's... It's going to come to a realization. People, people are noticing it, but there's still many who are, who are asleep, but awakening. And they're sent to follow. Ask him just, and this, I will, you're just curious, percentage wise, of, of percentage wise, in terms of in September, how much of the planet will be awakened at that point? Um, of humanity. We know the bees and the birds are already awakening to higher consciousness, but what percentage of the human population by September will be awake? If he doesn't mind, I know it's statistics, but just from his 
perspective. It's it's close to close to half. I would say I would say maybe uh, a third. So, something like that. I so believe. two thirds of the world are still fast asleep. They're awake. Oh, so a third of the planet is still asleep, and two thirds between, is awake. Between between a fourth and a half, like close to half. Okay, so I'm not sure. If half is to... already awakened. And maybe a third is the, or a fourth, or half is, well, if half is awake, half is asleep. <laughs> yeah, around that kind of. Okay, very good. And just ask him about any specific earth changes uh, that anyone who's listening to this, because this will be heard, it can be heard all over the planet as to any areas of the planet that will see huge. Uh, changes in terms of uh, the topography you know with volcanoes or water delusion places or there's many natural places that are being more used more uh, recreated to a better place uh, so are they, are they already cleansing the oceans? They're cleansing a lot of areas. Forests, as I said, new forests. Uh, better waters, rivers, uh, streets. So by 2020, 2021, uh, this turnaround will be pretty significant then. There's a lot of new things and better things in this time frame. So it's this 19, that's in the next five years, huh? Yes. And then by 2021, how many people on the planet will be familiar with the extra dimensional and extraterrestrial presence on the planet at that time? There's a good quantity of... Okay. Very good. I would say they're just, they're helping, but in a way, yeah. What do they look like? Are they still concrete or whatever, or have they changed in any way? They look more organized, more like, I don't know how you would say, cleaner, more understood and ask Jesus what time frame is it as this as he's showing you what when is this that what is you know what is the time frame that he's showing you from our linear ex, ex perspective century or because or year what year is it what year is it that you're looking at say he has something to show you and he's brought you there is he still there yes and is he talking to you at all you can hear him you can hear him clear as the bell clear as day he's he's there but he's just showing me So can you see you in that view? Is this the future? I think so. You, I know you, you say you think so, but is it your, do you see you in that future? Ask him, can he show you you in that future? Yeah, that's me. You can see yourself now? 
And what do you look like? Older, just the in, same. In the same body? Yeah. So there you are as you, with Jesus, looking at yourself. How does that feel? Pretty crazy. Ah, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So ask Jesus, is this the earth? Yes. And ask him, what year is it at the, on the earth? Please. Ask him, maybe we can get you. The biggest change that you see that happens? A lot of people knowing just about themselves and people, about what to do. People are finding out about themselves and what are they finding out about themselves? That they're more than they think. Ah, oh, very good. And how does he, how does what he's showing you depict that? People are smiling. It's, everything is, everybody's nice to each other. And everybody seems happy. And so you're looking down on a city or just that? Yes, a city. And what about, can you see the roads of the city? How's that much better? And take that long, slow, deep breath again. And release it slowly. Where is Jesus taking you? He's showing me from up top. Is that everything that's happened? He's showing you from up top? Yeah, in the sky. Alrighty, and what are you looking down on? Just the city and the Almost like a, like you could say a, like a fast forward or like a like a like a flashback going forward of everything happening. And so, what do you see happening, sir? A lot of change. Very good. Now, what's the